بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم اللہ رب زدنی علماء صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم آمین الحمد للہ رب العالمین The topic of this lecture is important concepts of linear combinations of normal variables. For this lecture, I am using the work of one of my best students, Ms. Laiba Gulzar of class 2021, The Lyceum. An important advice for me and for everyone, we should be kind and we should be humble. Properties of expectation for sums and products for both number one expectation of constant is always constant meaning if we have four observations and each observation is same like five then their mean will be five and their variance will be zero because there is no variation of the observation from their mean so mean of the constant is always constant this means the mean of 5 is always 5 this is the property and this is the example if something is multiplying with x then we have to bring that thing outside the bracket meaning this coefficient will come out from this bracket and you have to write this as a times ex like in this case this will become 5 times the x. You have to bring this coefficient outside the bracket and write in this way. Now, by combining these two properties, we have this ax plus b. This is the coefficient, whereas this is the constant. So, this coefficient will come out from the bracket and it will become a times e x, and the mean of constant is constant. Like in this case, we did this. the example of this uh, property is this 5x plus 7 this 5 is coefficient of x and this 7 is constant so 5 ex plus 7 the mean of constant is constant a and b are the coefficients of x and y this is the capital y always write capital X and capital Y in EX and VX they are fine here well uh, this coefficient will come out from this bracket and it will become A times EX and this will become B times EY in this example we can simplify this as 5 times EX 7 times EY in expectation, signs remain the same. If we have positive sign, it will remain positive. If What if we had negative here, then it would be negative. Like in this case, we have negative, so we have negative sign. The signs will remain same. So this will become 3ex minus 2ey. Properties of variance are very important, especially for sums. Now this is for products variance of constant is zero why because if all observations are equal to five if we have four observations and all observations are same then there is no variation of the observation from their mean therefore variance of constant is always zero variance of three is zero variance of five is zero variance of any constant is zero because no variation in constant and zero because variance uh, tells the variation of the observations from their mean when all observations are same then there is no variation now since we are uh, doing properties for products therefore coefficient will become a square i mean this a will become a square you have to give power 2 to the coefficient because this coefficient is the multiple of x so a square vx this 3 is multiple of x this is basically 3 times x 3 times of x so 3 is multiple so it will become 3 square this a is multiple this is constant this a will become a square and this constant will become 0 the variance of constant is 0 so this 5 is multiple of x so it will become this is capital X 
this was capital but i just wanted to make it clear so this 5x plus 3 will become 5 square vx and constant the variance of constant is 0 a and b both are multiples of x and y so a square b square vy 5 square 3 square vy in variance signs are always positive these signs are always positive so if we have negative sign we have to write positive because variance cannot be negative make sure you always expand the brackets of variance with positive sign no matter you have positive or negative here example of uh, the properties of variance and mean in fact as well given a follows normal distribution with mean 175 and variance 60 square b follows normal with mean this and variance this requirement find the probability that a randomly chosen of type a object is at least twice now this is very important multiple of the type b twice means the product case meaning a is greater or equal to 2b at least means greater or equal twice means multiple of uh, b 2b this means this information means this thing now you have to bring this 2b on left side of the inequality to get this inequality a my always bring uh, variables on left side now get the expectation and variance of this quantity you need this probability make sure you understand these three steps this is the given information bring this to be on left side now write this thing as p form probability now work for the expectation and variance of this quantity a minus 2b in expectation signs remain same so minus means minus so this will become ea and this will become 2eb and that's the answer of expectation expectation you can denote expectation by mu now a minus 2b but important thing is in variance two things are important since we are doing the product case so we have to give a square to this 2 and number 2 we have to change the sign this negative to positive because we always expand bracket of variance with positive signs so v of a plus 2 square v of b square 2 because 2 is a multiple of b whenever the uh, coefficient is multiple then you have you always need to give power 2 to that coefficient because the case is product this is the sigma square now substitute everything into z formula you all know this is the formula of z and you all know how to get this probability I'm leaving this part because uh, some students do this with 1 minus 5. Some students uh, use calculator method. It's your choice. I'm writing for those students who use 5, 1 minus 5.426. And they know how to handle this calculation. Uh, if you want to be good at uh, the uh, 5 thing and uh, like the use of latest calculator normal distribution with latest calculator you must watch my lectures on normal distribution i've i've made a four lectures on normal distribution if you want to be good at normal distribution make sure you have watched all the four lectures or at least uh, lecture one and two make sure you must watch uh, these you have watched these lectures for sums now this is very important don't square the coefficients of the variables for example if we have three independent x if we have three observations so if we will add these three x we'll get three x this three means total this three is not multiple of x make sure you understand this concept well when you add three uh, diff i mean independent values of x then this will become 3x this thing will become 3x and this 3 is not multiple of x so you don't need to square this 3 this thing is extremely important of this chapter 
whenever you work for sums sums means totals you never give power 2 to the coefficient of the variables now this is the question three uh, independent observations of x are greater than two independent observations of y we need this probability so what should we do first simplify these two you'll get 3x to y bring this to y on left side so you will get 3x minus 2y greater than 0 now this 3 and this 2 are not multiples of x and y now work for their uh, mean and variance in mean there is no issue whether the number is multiple or not we always uh, write the number as it is in mean and we always copy the sign as it is so mean is not a problem the main problem is variance in variance we never give a square to the coefficient when coefficient is not multiple of variable we will not give a square these two, uh, this 3 and this 2 c when you will work for variance you just need to write 3 as it is 2 as it is variance is always the bracket of variance is always expanded with plus sign so don't square this number and don't square this number why because these numbers are not multiples these numbers are totals summary if a and b are not multiples of x and y then don't square the numbers just copy the numbers as it is and if we have negative sign here then that negative will become positive because variance is always the bracket of variance is always expanded by plus sign with plus sign in fact now we have this question a follows normal b follows normal requirement Find the probability that the total of four randomly chosen type A objects and six randomly chosen type B objects is less than 1500. Now four randomly chosen of type A means A plus A plus A plus A. That means 4A. Now this 4 is not multiple. So four randomly chosen type A means 4A. Six randomly chosen type B means 6B. And the, pro the, and they are, the, the sum of these two is less than 1500. We need this probability. Since these two coefficients are not multiple, so we will not give power 2 to these two coefficients while working for variance. So number 1 work for expectation 4a plus 6b. So 4 is as it is. In expectation, we copy the numbers as it is. We copy the sign as it is. This is the expectation and in variance, make sure you will not give power 2 to these two coefficients. Copy 4 as it is and 6 as it is. And this is the variance. Now use Z formula and you will get this thing uh, for other students who use phi method I'm writing this is as 2.229 now they can manage this calculation themselves that's the final answer equations well in equations the coefficients are multiples we treat them as multiples when equation is given then this number is always multiple of this variable when the equation of type this type are given then when the equations of this type are given the coefficient of x that is a is always the multiple of x that means the product is so when you will work for the variance make sure you give power 2 to this coefficient example ex is 70 and vx is this and we have this equation and also ey is this and vy is this we need a and b so we have these informations now number one work for expectation take e on both sides so when you will take e on both sides of this equation you will get this thing when you will expand this you will get a e x b you have ey 55 and ex 70 this is the equation one when you will work for variance when you will take v on both sides make sure you will expand this bracket like this a square vx zero now substitute the values here and get the answers a and b rules for modulus Well, rules for modulus, you have done these rules in uh, normal distribution. When z, modulus z is less than a, you expand modulus less of lesser sign in this way. 
So this is the solution of this model. So you have done this in a normal distribution. If you want to review this, you can watch my lecture one on normal distribution. So minus A and A, and this is the required region. When we have greater sign, then, then we expand modulus in this way. Z less than minus A, Z greater than A, and these two regions are required. So if you find probability of this region, you just need to multiply this answer by 2, because they both are same. If this answer is 0.2, this must be 0.2. So 0.2 times 2 will give you total answer. So just work for this part, this thing. Example 1. Given x differs, differs means modulus, x differs by less than 0 0.02 from y. You all know this is, is the basics of math. From y means y minus x. x differs by less than 0 0.02 from y means y minus x less than 0 0.02. So y minus x modulus less than 0 0.02. So this statement means this thing. And since we have lesser signs, we need to expand this modulus in this way. And we need this probability. Now you just need to convert this in the form of z. Example 2. y differs by more than 3 from x. So you need to write x minus y modulus greater than 3. Like this. And expand this modulus in this way. So you need these two probabilities. I hope uh, this lecture will help you to understand the concepts of this chapter well. Inshallah, I will make the lecture of important questions of this topic soon. Uh, an important advice for me and for everyone: we should avoid backbiting. Allah Hafiz.